Good evening, everyone. My name is Amanda Schaefer. I serve as the Executive Director of the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation. On behalf of our Board of Trustees, I welcome you to our virtual scholarship reception for 2020. Every year, we look forward to applauding our exceptional scholarship recipients, and this year is no different. While we can't be together in person because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we invite you to sit back and enjoy your favorite dessert as we share the accomplishments and educational goals of some very special students. I would like to start by thanking our dedicated sponsors. The generosity of more than 50 businesses and families make our event today possible. It is really important that we acknowledge their support. Thank you, sponsors. First, our pillar sponsors, Isabella Bank, Mercantile Bank, Mount Pleasant Abstract and Title, and the Mori Foundation. You have committed to helping our foundation showcase philanthropy in our community and your continued support during this tough economic time is nothing short of incredible. It is an honor to share that the Community Foundation awarded more than $1.6 million in grants last year, 2019. And since our inception in 1990, the Community Foundation has actually awarded more than $8 million in grants to schools, local governments, and charities all while maintaining the value of every endowed gift ever given to the foundation. This important work could not be achieved without the support of a strong community. Donors trust the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation with their gifts, knowing that they stay and benefit our local community forever. All around Isabella County, everywhere you look, there are examples of grants from the Community Foundation. The Village of Shepherd recently installed two sets of wayfinding signs to display business information at each exit ramp off of US 127 coming into Shepherd. Those funds came from the Shepherd Community Fund in honor of Robert Bates. The Ice Arena inside the Isabella Sportsplex renovated space for a permanent female locker room. Those funds came from the Women's Initiative Fund, the Kellogg Youth Fund, and the Gail E. Gordon Women in Sports Fund. The building in 1114 West High Street in Mount Pleasant was purchased and is now officially the William and Janet Strickler Nonprofit Center. The Community Foundation and many partners helped to raise more than $1 million for the establishment of this new permanent facility meeting human service needs. I could go on and on. More than 200 other grants were made by the Community Foundation over the last year. With donations big and small, we are able to connect a wide variety of donors to programs and projects that address the ever-changing needs here in Isabella County. But not everyone starts their own fund. Our Community Impact Fund is the most flexible fund of the foundation and was created by hundreds of generous individuals throughout the community who have given gifts of all sizes, from $5 to $50,000. Community Impact Fund assets can be utilized to address significant and emergent issues in our ever-changing community. Community Impact Funds allow the Community Foundation the greatest flexibility to make more meaningful and impactful grants. For example, the Community Impact Funds help to launch Epicenter Mount Pleasant, an online publication that tells the story of an evolving Isabella County. In each weekly publication, Epicenter chronicles the investment, innovation, and development of unique assets that are attracting new talent to the region and reshaping our community's future. If you've not already, subscribe today at epicentermountpleasant.com. Most recently, the Community Impact Funds, coupled with donor-advised funds, made it possible to grant $100,000 to our COVID-19 Community Response Fund for Isabella County. When the pandemic crisis hit in March, the Community Foundation had the resources to help local organizations working to address immediate needs. Things like food, care supplies, rent, transportation, and personal protective equipment. 
Gifts made to the Community Foundation grow over time, benefiting the community forever. I encourage you to learn more by visiting our website, by subscribing to our e-newsletter, Community Matters, and by following us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. In fact, we want to be sure that we capture all the great moments associated with this virtual celebration. So if you're watching with a scholarship recipient, a fund representative, a committee member, or maybe even a 2020 sponsor, we invite you to take out your smartphone and snap a picture to post. Maybe take one of the scholarship recipients sitting next to you on the couch. Maybe of a parent or a school counselor who has made a difference in your journey to this day. Maybe even a selfie, simply to share your excitement or pride in participating. Don't forget to tag us in your posts. Let's show everyone that something great is happening right now in our community. I have the pleasure of working with 24 wonderful members of our Board of Trustees. Here now to tell you a little bit more about this year's scholarship process is our scholarship chair, Cheryl Goddard. Each year, when the deadline for scholarship applications comes to an end, it takes a team of volunteers to review these applications. Despite all of the challenges associated with the COVID-19 pandemic, 95 individuals volunteered their time to serve on the scholarship committee and review over 1,000 scholarship applications that were submitted by students. Committee members transitioned from in-person meetings to virtual communication so that the scholarship application review process could continue seamlessly. We are proud to be awarding 106 scholarships totaling $120,100 to local students wishing to pursue higher education. The Christopher John Andre Memorial Scholarship was established by Mary Jo and Frank Andre to honor their son Chris. This scholarship will provide financial assistance to a student who wishes to attend a band or music camp. This year's recipient is Alexander DiMatte. Alex will be a junior at Mount Pleasant High School next year. He's been playing saxophone for four years, including marching band, jazz band, pep band, and pit orchestra. Alex is a member of the Blue Lake International Northern Winds Band and is going on a European tour in the summer of 2021. Congratulations, Alex. The Art Scholarship was established by an anonymous donor to help support a local student's plans to pursue a degree in art, art history, or art education. The scholarship helps students who have displayed a love and passion for art and who plan to follow that passion as a career path after high school. This year, that local student is Corey Gaskell. Corey is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a member of the National Technical Honor Society and the National Art Honor Society. She is a dedicated graphic arts student and will be attending Ferris State University to pursue a degree in graphic design. Congratulations, Corey. The Blystone and Bailey CPA Scholarship was established in 2014 to provide support for students that are pursuing a degree in accounting. Blystone and Bailey has been an advocate of programs that foster continued education in the field of accounting to assure quality accounting now and in the future. This is the first year that a scholarship is being awarded from this fund. The first ever recipient is Hillary Prout. Hillary is attending Michigan Technological University and serves as president of the accounting club and vice president of her residence hall. Hillary is studying accounting and plans to obtain her master's degree, a certified public accountant license, and pursue a career in taxation. Congratulations, Hillary. The Matthew J. Bowles Memorial Scholarship was created in memory of a charismatic, involved, intelligent, and funny young man. He loved leading in his Boy Scout program, directing high school plays, and fighting tirelessly for something he believed in. Matt believes leadership is as much a responsibility as it is a privilege, and always showed great concern for his friends. When friends and acquaintances shared their troubles, he would always bring them peace, often using his favorite phrase, calm your waters, killer. This fund awards two scholarships, which will benefit two local high school graduates who share many of Matt's personal interests. One will be awarded to a student who will be attending Michigan State University with preference to MSU's James Madison College. The other will be awarded to a student who's been deeply involved in theater, choir, and or orchestra. The recipient for this year's MSU scholarship is Alexis Zimmerman. 
The recipient for this year's art scholarship is Andrew Whitbrot. Alexis is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and was involved in choir and theater. She's secretary of the International Thespian Society and is a member of the National Honor Society. Alexis will be attending Michigan State University's James Madison College to study social relations and policy and plans to become a victim's advocate. Congratulations, Alexis. Andrew is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a member of the National Honor Society. He's the president of the International Thespian Society and has received several prestigious titles for 4-H. Andrew will be attending Central Michigan University and plans to study technical theater and design. Congratulations, Andrew. The J. Gavin Bradley Culinary Hospitality Scholarship was created in honor of Gavin, whose life was filled with travel, food, and adventure. Gavin's family hopes that the fund will support a student intending to pursue a career in the culinary hospitality industry. This is the first year that the J. Gavin Bradley Culinary Hospitality Scholarship is awarding. The first ever recipient is Grace House. Grace is attending the Baker College Culinary Institute of Michigan to pursue a degree in culinary arts and hospitality management. She became interested in this field of study while attending the Gratiot Isabella Technical Education Center and hopes to own her own business in the future. Congratulations, Grace. When Keisha Brown was diagnosed with breast cancer in June of 2007, her biggest fears were for her one-year-old daughter, Angel. This is what led Keisha and her husband, Damon, to create the Angel Wings Scholarship. These scholarships will help students who've been impacted by cancer pursue higher education. In memory of Keisha, the recipients of the Angel Wings Scholarship are Brooklyn Bagard, Audrey Clark, and Lindsay Fillenworth. Brooklyn is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and has been involved in multiple sports, clubs, and organizations. Brooklyn plans to attend Elma College to study elementary education and continue her dancing career on the dance team and dance company. Congratulations, Brooklyn. Autry is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and is involved in band and jazz band. She plans to attend Elma College to pursue a degree in education. Congratulations, Autry. Lindsay has established herself as a scholar athlete in both volleyball and softball at Beale City High School. She's a member of the National Honor Society, the Spanish Honor Society, and Health Science Club. Lindsay plans to attend Mid-Michigan College to pursue a degree in nursing. Congratulations, Lindsay. The Nancy Carey Memorial Scholarship was established to honor Nancy's dedication as a speech and English teacher at Mount Pleasant High School. The scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior with achievements in speech and English classes. This year, that Mount Pleasant High School senior is Caitlin Boots. Caitlin is a graduating senior at Mount Pleasant High School. She's the Publicity Committee Co-Chair of the National Honor Society president of the National Art Honor Society and a National Merit Finalist. Caitlin will be attending Harvard College, where she plans to study neuroscience. Congratulations, Caitlin. I just wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude to the representatives and donors of the scholarship. I'm planning on attending Harvard College in the fall, and one of my family's primary concerns was how I was going to be able to fund my education. So to be able to receive the scholarship is more than an honor, it's more than a blessing. And I just wanted to say thank you. The Donna J. and W. Larry Collins GFWC Scholarship was established in dedication of Donna's love of teaching and her involvement in the community and the General Federation of Women's Club. This scholarship is awarded to a college student entering their junior or senior year of college or a graduate program in art, art education, design, fibers, sculpture, or public administration. This year's recipient is Leah D. Leah Dean moved to the Mount Pleasant area to continue her undergraduate studies at Central Michigan University. She received her Bachelor of Science degree in Social Science in 2013 and is finishing her second year of her master's program at CMU, where she maintains a 4.0 GPA. Leah is also a substitute teacher for local schools. Congratulations, Leah. The Carolyn Cousin Memorial Scholarship was established in Carolyn's memory to support a female graduating senior from Isabella County. The scholarship will be awarded to a student who is a member of the Girl Scouts or has either played, refereed, or coached competitive sports while demonstrating a positive attitude, leadership, and commitment to the team. The recipient of this year's scholarship is Lauren Munley. 
Lauren is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and was a member of the volleyball, basketball, softball, and track teams. She plans to attend college to major in either biomedical science or exercise science with a minor in Spanish to pursue a career as a chiropractor. Congratulations, Lauren. The Denison Family Scholarship was established in dedication to Denison's children who received an excellent education through the Mount Pleasant Public School System. This scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior of Mount Pleasant High School. This year, that senior is Rachel Bloomfield. Rachel Bloomfield is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School. She's the volunteer chair for the National Honor Society and a team captain for track and field. Rachel will be attending Brigham Young University to study neuroscience. Congratulations, Rachel. The Susan K. and Douglas E. Dodge Scholarship is awarded to a graduate student of Reed City or Shepherd High School who has been involved in school and community activities and plans to pursue a career in public service. This year's scholarship is awarded to Sydney Holbein. Sydney is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School. She's a member of the National Honor Society and Business Professionals of America. Sydney is the president of the Student Council and the Rotary Interact Club and a member of her school's basketball and track teams. She's attending Grand Valley State University as part of the Honors College and is considering studying a degree related to public service. Congratulations, Sydney. The C. Jane Duby and Dwight D. Dodge Memorial Scholarship awards a scholarship to a graduating senior from Merrill or Reed City High School who's pursuing a career in higher education. This year's recipient is Zoe Fleming. Zoe is a graduating senior from Merrill High School and is the class valedictorian. She's involved in volleyball, softball, the National Honor Society, and Student Council. Zoe is graduating high school with 41 credits from Delta College and plans to attend Aquinas College to study international business. Congratulations, Zoe. The Richard C. Duby Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior from Merrill High School who has demonstrated academic ability and a positive attitude toward their school and community. This year, that senior is Maddie Fenby. Maddie is a graduating senior from Merrill High School and is the class salutatorian. She served as president for both the National Honor Society and Student Council and was involved in cross country, basketball, and softball. Maddie is graduating high school with 48 college credits completed and plans to attend Saginaw Valley State University to study communications. Congratulations, Maddie. The Brenda Eckelbarger Memorial Scholarship was created in memory of Brenda, who embodied the finest qualities of a nurse. Brenda was calm, assuring, and encouraging, especially in the case of the underdog. This scholarship will support students planning to pursue a degree in human services. This is the first year that the Brenda Eckelbarger Memorial Scholarship is awarding. The first ever recipient is Kimberly Birch. Kimberly is currently studying nursing at MidMichigan College and plans to pursue a Bachelor of Science in Nursing after graduating from MMC in December. Kimberly is a single mom and says that making her 11-year-old son proud is her main drive to finish school. Congratulations, Kimberly. The Eckersley Scholarship was created in memory of J. Dean Eckersley, a man deeply committed to our community. It's awarded to a graduating senior within Mount Pleasant Public Schools who has been involved in extracurricular activities and is planning to pursue higher education in Michigan. This year, the scholarship recipient is Stuart McDonald. Stuart is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and was the captain of his varsity hockey team, as well as president of his local school business club. He's a member of the National Honor Society and the National Technical Honor Society. Stuart plans on attending Michigan State University to study business. Congratulations, Stuart. The Governor John Engler Scholarship honors former Michigan Governor John Engler, who was born and raised in Isabella County. This scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who plans to pursue a career in public service. This year's recipient is Jay Lyon. Jay is a graduating senior from Beale City High School and is class salutatorian. He's involved in many extracurriculars and is the member of the National Honor Society, Marching Band, Youth in Government, Student Council, Robotics, and the Spanish Honor Society. He plans to attend James Madison College at Michigan State University. Congratulations, Jay. The Fight Family Business Scholarship was established by the Fight Family to help support Isabella County students or Central Michigan University students pursuing a career in business. The scholarship aims to reward students who have shown an interest in the business field through their extracurricular activities and are pursuing a career in business through higher education. This year's recipient is Shelby Godwin. 
Shelby is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and is dual enrolled in Mid-Michigan College. She's involved in the National Honor Society, Interact Rotary Club, and president of Business Professionals of America. Shelby is captain of the Pom Pom Team and class vice president. She plans to attend Central Michigan University to pursue a degree in finance. Congratulations, Shelby. The Ganyard History Project Scholarship was established by Val Walters, a retired teacher of Ganyard Elementary School who is passionate about the school's history. This scholarship is awarded to seniors graduating from Mount Pleasant High School who attended Ganyard Elementary School. This year's recipients are Lindsay Kowalczyk, Alyssa McDonald, and Allison Tawari. Lily is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School. She's participated in Junior Varsity Cross Country, Varsity Track and Field, Business Professionals of America, Model UN, and her school's service club. Lily plans to attend Michigan State University in the fall. Congratulations, Lily. Alyssa is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and has made the honor roll each year. She'll be attending Grand Valley State University's Frederick Meyer Honors College to obtain a degree in hopes of attending veterinary school. Congratulations, Alyssa. Allison is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and loves to participate in fine arts activities. She's been involved in both bands at Mount Pleasant High School and has been part of four musicals with the drama department. Allison plans to attend Michigan State University, major undecided. Congratulations, Allison. The Garland Schilling Scholarship was established by George and Judith Garland and Alan and Mary Lou Schilling in recognition of the staff's dedication at MidMichigan Industries. The scholarship will assist those who are interested in a career in public service, with preference in serving individuals with special needs or disabilities, those in poverty or experiencing homelessness, the elderly or at-risk youth. This year, the scholarship recipient is Zoe Collins. Zoe is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and is a member of the National Honor Society and Phi Theta Kappa. She is currently dual enrolled and has distinguished herself as an outstanding member of the community and school through volunteer work and being part of the band. Zoe plans to attend Central Michigan University to pursue her dream of becoming a psychologist. Congratulations, Zoe. The Gunner Family Scholarship was created by Alice and Roger Gunner to invest in the community they grew up in. They decided to create a scholarship fund because they both taught in the area and understand the value of education. The scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy who has demonstrated a positive attitude toward their school and community. This year, that senior is Alexis Horak. Alexis is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and has been a member of the band, varsity cheer, varsity dance, and varsity softball teams. She plans to attend Mid-Michigan College to pursue a degree in nursing. Congratulations, Alexis. The Emerson W. Green Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Shepherd pharmacist Emerson Green. Green was an active member of the Shepherd community and encouraged students to pursue their goals through higher education. This scholarship is awarded to a Shepherd High School graduate pursuing a career in the health or science field. The recipient of this year's scholarship is Kylie Golightly. Kylie is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and has participated in cheerleading, bowling, soccer, and volleyball. Throughout high school, she attended Vilsack High School, Memorial Christian Academy, and Shepherd High School. She's involved in International Thespian Society and the Drama Club. Kylie plans to attend Central Michigan University to become a physician assistant. Congratulations, Kylie. The Earl G. Hartman Sr. and Caroline Millar Hartman Scholarship was created by Earl and Caroline Hartman. The Hartmans generously gave their time and financial support to the community, but especially to Sacred Heart Academy. This scholarship is awarded to a senior graduating from Sacred Heart Academy. This year's Sacred Heart seniors are Jordan Henning and Luke Permuka. Jordan is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and is involved in the National Honor Society and Key Club where she served as treasurer. Jordan plans to attend Mid-Michigan College to study nursing and hopes to become a pediatric nurse. Congratulations, Jordan. Luke is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy where he was a member of the track, basketball, and quiz bowl teams. He participated in 4-H, the Student Senate, and was captain of the cross-country team. Luke plans to attend Central Michigan University to study secondary education. Congratulations, Luke. Dear Hartman family, my name is Luke Pramuka, and I would like to say thank you so much for the scholarship through the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation. I'm a senior at Sacred Heart Academy. I've been a part of the cross-country, track, basketball, and quiz bowl teams, as well as a member of Key Club, 
4-H and Student Senate all four years of high school. Next year, I will be attending Central Michigan University, where I plan on studying secondary education, majoring in social studies education, and minoring in leadership. I know you value education, and I want to thank you for helping me continue mine. The Jim Hartman Study Abroad Scholarship was established by Jim's sister, Marjorie Kick, in his memory. The scholarship will help local students experience the joys of global travel, where students may meet people and see new places around the globe to honor Jim's passion of traveling. This year's scholarship recipient is Amanda Sinclair. Amanda is currently attending Central Michigan University and has distinguished herself academically by making the Dean's List all three years. She's balanced three jobs while attending school full-time studying for two degrees. Amanda's dedication will help her as she transitions into a career as a physician assistant. Congratulations, Amanda. The Phyllis A. Heinze Mathematics Education Scholarship was established by Dyke Heinze in recognition of his wife's dedication to making mathematics applicable and easy to understand. This year, the scholarship is awarded to Alexa Zar. Alexa is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School. She's involved in the National Technical Honor Society, the varsity bowling team, and participates in her youth group's worship team. Alexa plans to attend Central Michigan University to pursue a degree in secondary math education. Congratulations, Alexa. I'd like to start out by saying how grateful I am to receive the Phyllis A. Hines Mathematics Education Scholarship. I'd like to thank my family and my math teachers who have worked hard to help me achieve my goal. This scholarship will allow me to pursue my dream of being a math teacher and educating others. Once again, thank you. The Heidenberg Family Scholarship was established by the family of Floyd and Peg Heidenberg. The Heidenbergs influenced hundreds of students in musical education within Mount Pleasant Public Schools, Central Michigan University, and in the community. This year, the scholarship recipient is Landon Shoemaker. Landon is a graduating senior at Mount Pleasant High School who's heavily involved in academics and music. He maintains over a 4.0 GPA while being an integral part of many Mount Pleasant High School instrumental music programs. He'll be attending Central Michigan University in the Honors Program as he pursues a degree in music education. Congratulations, Landon. The James R. Hodgins Memorial Scholarship was established by Mary Jane Hodgins in memory of her husband, James. Dr. Hodgins taught at Central Michigan University for 47 years, and before she passed away in 2008, Mary Jane taught at Mount Pleasant High School. They valued education and believed it to be important to have the opportunity to pursue higher education. This fund awards two scholarships, one for foreign language and the other for English. The recipient for this year's English scholarship is Madeline Humphreys. The recipient for this year's foreign language scholarship is Selma Abdelgawad. Madeline is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and is the vice president of the National Honor Society. She's a captain of the Quiz Bowl team, has participated in band and choir for over eight years, and played golf throughout high school. Madeline will be attending Central Michigan University and plans to pursue a degree in music education. Congratulations, Madeline. Salma is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School, where she serves as vice president of the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation's Youth Advisory Committee and president of the National Honor Society and Service Club. Salma plans to study actuarial science at Central Michigan University. Congratulations, Salma. Isabella Bank and its employees believe that learning is a lifelong process and that educating young people provides opportunities for personal growth and advancement. Isabella Bank scholarships are awarded to graduating seniors throughout the area. This year's recipients are Olivia Adgate, Avery Claybaugh, Sarah Dickman, Kyle Frost, Riley Hines, Riley McKenna, Lauren Rookert, Madison Slusher, Rosa Sullivan, and Sadie Wheaton. Olivia is graduating from Montebello Junior Senior High School as class valedictorian. She's involved in the National Honor Society, language arts team, and was awarded All-American team for girls varsity basketball. Olivia plans to attend Grand Valley State University and double major in exercise science and recreational therapy. Congratulations, Olivia. 
Avery is graduating from Chippewa Hills High School and is a four-year varsity athlete for soccer. She held leadership positions in Future Farmers of America at the chapter and regional levels, the National Honor Society, 4-H, and the class of 2020. Avery is attending Saginaw Valley State University to major in business and minor in agricultural studies. Congratulations, Avery. Sarah is graduating from Shepherd High School and has acclaimed herself a scholar athlete in basketball as well as track and field. She's involved in the National Honor Society, Business Professionals of America, and Rotary. Sarah plans to attend Central Michigan University to study dietetics. Congratulations, Sarah. Kyle is an Eagle Scout graduating with honors from Farwell High School. He's involved in Science Olympiad, the Agricultural Science Program, through Career and Technical Education, the National Honor Society, Cross Country, Band, Track and Field, and serves at his church. Kyle will be attending Ferris State University and plans to study pre-veterinarian medicine. Congratulations, Kyle. Riley is graduating from Bill City High School and participated in sideline and competitive cheer. She took a graphic design course at the Gratiot Isabella Technical Education Center and has been dual enrolled through Mid-Michigan College for two years. Riley will be attending Central Michigan University, major undecided. Congratulations, Riley. Riley is a graduating senior from Lakeview High School and held leadership positions in many of the six clubs and four sports he participated in while helping the community. Riley will be attending the University of Michigan and plans to double major in philosophy, politics, and economics and mathematics. Congratulations, Riley. Lauren is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and participated on the basketball and volleyball teams. She was co-vice president of the Key Club and completed over 200 service hours throughout high school. She'll be attending the University of Michigan to pursue a degree in business. Congratulations, Lauren. Mason is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a member of the National Honor Society, the National Technical Honor Society, and vice president of the Senior Class Senate. Outside of school, Mason is the worship leader of his youth group and will be attending Michigan State University to study supply chain management. Congratulations, Mason. Rosa is a graduating senior from Greenville High School and is a member of the orchestra and the National Honor Society. She'll be attending Montcalm Community College and plans to pursue a degree in nursing. Sadie is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School. She was homecoming queen and served as class president for the Student Senate. She was treasurer of the National Honor Society, vice president of 4-H, and a member of the National Technical Honor Society. She also runs her own business, Cake Pop Creations by Sadie. Sadie will be attending Grand Valley State University and plans to study elementary education. Congratulations, Sadie. Thank you so much, Isabel Bank, for supporting me on my future endeavors. In the fall, I will be attending Saginaw Valley State University, where I will major in business and minor in agricultural studies. Thank you again for recognizing scholars of the class of 2020 in our community. Isabella Community Credit Union Member Scholarship was established by ICCU members to keep giving back to the community regardless of existing economic conditions. ICCU members hope that the recipients of this scholarship will become actively involved in their communities. This year's recipients are Logan Chilman and Ashley Schellenbarger. Logan is a graduating senior from Beale City High School and has exemplified excellence athletically and academically. He was a member of the football, basketball, track, and cross-country teams, and was also a member of the National Honor Society. Logan will be attending Mid-Michigan College and plans to pursue a major in accounting and a minor in economics. Congratulations, Logan. Ashley is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a member of the National Honor Society. She's an avid volunteer and participated in various service clubs and mission trips. Ashley will be attending Florida Gulf Coast University to pursue her dream of becoming a travel nurse by attaining a nursing degree. Congratulations, Ashley. The Isabella County Retired School Personnel Scholarship was established by the Michigan Association of Retired School Personnel, MARSP, to encourage students to pursue a career in the field of education. The Isabella County chapter of MARSP is continuing to make an impact on retired school personnel and now students of Isabella County. This year, the scholarship recipient is Colby Boyd. Colby is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and was a member of the softball and volleyball teams. 
she participated in the Educational Careers Placement Program and worked with kindergarten students before the program was interrupted due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Colby plans to attend Alma College and is looking forward to continuing her love of playing volleyball on the school's team. Congratulations, Colby. The J. Paul Janes Memorial Scholarship is awarded in memory of Paul to a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School or Sacred Heart Academy who intends to pursue a pre-law college curriculum with plans to attend law school. This year's recipient is Emma George Griffin. Emma is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and was involved in the marching band as well as several clubs. Emma will be attending Michigan State University and plans to study political theory and constitutional democracy at MSU's James Madison College to pursue a career in politics. Congratulations, Emma. Bob and Kathy Jansen established a fund in their names to provide scholarships to Mount Pleasant High School graduates who are seeking opportunities in higher education. Both Bob and Kathy were first-generation college graduates who had long careers in education. This year, the recipient is Tyler Martin. Tyler is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a member of the Broadcasting Club and the Boys Soccer Program. Tyler plans on attending Central Michigan University to study computer science. Congratulations, Tyler. The John P. and Ann S. Jensen Scholarship supports a college upperclassman who has declared a major in architecture, interior design, music, art, or literature. John and Ann established this scholarship to assist and encourage the further education of dedicated students entering careers in the arts. This year, the scholarship recipient is Hunter O'Brien. Hunter recently received his bachelor's degree in flute performance from the New England Conservatory of Music. He won top prizes in national music competitions, including a scholarship from the Yamaha Corporation. He'll be attending Rice University to pursue a master's degree focusing on orchestral performance. Congratulations, Hunter. Hello, my name is Hunter O'Brien. I'm a recent graduate of the New England Conservatory of Music and this year's recipient of the John P. and Anna Jensen Scholarship. I'll be using this scholarship to assist with my education at the Shepherd School of Music at Rice University in the fall as I work towards my master's degree in flute performance. Thank you for your continued support of artists in Isabella County. The Dr. Thomas M. and Jane Keating Scholarship was established by the Keatings as a way to support the community that has given them so much over the years. Thomas came to Mount Pleasant in 1975 to open an orthopedic practice, and Jane came to Mount Pleasant as a nurse. The Dr. Thomas M. and Jane Keating Scholarship is awarded to Maya Beeg. Maya is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and has earned her certified nurse aide license as a junior at the Gratiot Isabella Technical Education Center. Outside of school, she participates in 4-H and will be attending Mid-Michigan College to pursue a nursing degree. Congratulations, Maya. The Charlie and Jane Keel Scholarship was established to support graduates of Sacred Heart Academy who plan to further their education at Central Michigan University. After Charlie and Jane graduated from CMU, they established careers, raised their family, volunteered, and made many friendships in the Mount Pleasant area. This scholarship fund is meant to support youth in a community they are proud to call home. This year's recipient is Luke Permuka. Luke is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy, where he was captain of the cross country team and is a member of the track, basketball, and quiz bowl teams. He's involved in 4-H and participated in the student senate. Luke plans to attend Central Michigan University to study secondary education. Congratulations, Luke. The Konwinski Construction Scholarship was established to honor and continue the legacy of Gerald Konwinski by supporting a student in the development of skilled trades. Konwinski Construction was founded in 1977 and continues to serve Isabella and Gratiot counties. This year's scholarship recipient is Michelle Ranke. Michelle is a graduated senior from Sacred Heart Academy where she maintained a 3.98 GPA while participating in band, mass choir, track and field, and cross country. Michelle is a member of the National Honor Society and served as president of the Key Club. She plans to attend college to study civil engineering. Congratulations, Michelle. The Carol Huber Konwinski and Gerald Konwinski Scholarship was established in support of their love for Sacred Heart Parish and the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation. The scholarship aims to support graduates of Sacred Heart Academy as they pursue higher education. This year's recipient is Molly Yonker. 
Molly is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy, where she's president of the Student Senate. She plays volleyball, basketball, and softball, and is the secretary and treasurer of the National Honor Society. Molly participates in Miles for Miracles and has been involved in 4-H. She'll be attending Central Michigan University and plans to study secondary education, occupational therapy, or communications. Congratulations, Molly. The Harold and Marie Craypole Scholarship was established by their children to benefit high school graduates interested in pursuing careers in either nursing or in the automotive industry. This year's scholarship is awarded to Reagan Eppel. Reagan is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School, where she made the honor roll all four years. She obtained her certified nurse aid license and placed first in the health science competition. Reagan plans to attend Grand Valley State University, where she'll study nursing. Congratulations, Reagan. The Aaron Jacob Latham Memorial Scholarship was established by Deborah and Billy Latham in memory of Aaron, who had a heart of gold and a mind of a jester. In 2002, Aaron enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, where he served two tours in Iraq and one tour in Kuwait. While on non-active reserve status, Aaron found his calling on a local farm. Aaron did not expect much of others, contribute to society, and figure out a way to have fun while doing it. This scholarship will assist a student planning a career in some form of farming or agricultural studies. This year's recipient is Robert Finnerty. Robert is a graduating senior from Beale City High School and is a member of the Beale City Future Farmers of America. He's received an FFA Junior Award as well as an FFA State Degree. Robert is an avid outdoorsman and works on the family farm. He plans to attend Mid-Michigan College to participate in the welding program. Congratulations, Robert. The Thomas W. Lavoie Memorial Scholarship, established by Tom's family and friends, memorializes a beloved Beale City school teacher, coach, and athletic director. The scholarship is awarded to a Beale City varsity athlete in basketball or softball, who's dedicated to both education and sports. This year's recipient is Seth Schaefer. Seth is a graduating senior from Beale City High School. He's been a successful student athlete and has been involved in student council, the National Honor Society, varsity football, varsity basketball, and varsity track. He's also been a member of the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation's Youth Advisory Committee. Seth plans to attend Central Michigan University to study computer software engineering. Congratulations, Seth. The Lemur Family Scholarship was created as a memorial to Mary Lemur. Mary was the wife of Claude Lemur, former band director for Shepherd Schools. The scholarship is awarded to deserving middle or high school students who have participated in band and plan to further instrumental music education. This year's scholarship is awarded to Joe Ettinger. Joe is a student at Shepherd High School where they're very involved in the band program as a participant in the high school jazz band, pep band, marching band, and concert band. They plan to work towards their dream of being a professional jazz musician and hopes to become a member of the NYO's jazz summer program. Congratulations, Joe. The Shirley Lamori Memorial Scholarship was created by Shirley's family to honor her memory by helping Shepherd High School graduates further their education. Shirley, a proud alumni of Shepherd High School, appreciated how well her experience there prepared her for college. The recipient for this year's scholarship is Patrick Judge. Patrick is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and is a standout student athlete. He's a member of the National Honor Society and four-year varsity track and soccer letter recipient. Patrick will be attending Central Michigan University with plans to major in design. Congratulations, Patrick. The Herbert H. Luth Scholarship memorializes a man who viewed his employees as family. This scholarship is awarded to high school graduates who are dependents of Medler Electric Company employees and have demonstrated high academic ability. This year's scholarship recipients are Ann Burkhart, Kara Egan, Cameron Stout, Aaron Wallace, and Chastity Winters. Ann is a graduating senior from Whitmore Prescott High School and is fourth in her class. She's class officer and has been involved in Future Farmers of America, 4-H, and Health Occupation Students of America. Ann plans to attend Delta College to pursue a career in physical therapy. Congratulations, Ann. Kara is currently attending the University of Michigan. She's a national AP scholar participated in her local youth group, and was a member of the National Honor Society in high school. She's majoring in neuroscience and plans to become a doctor. Congratulations, Kara. Cameron graduated with honors from Mona Shores High School in 2019. 
he attends Saginaw Valley State University, where he's studying computer science with hopes to pursue a career as a programmer. Congratulations, Cameron. Erin is a graduating senior from Ludington High School. She's been involved in her youth group and discovered her passion for teaching while participating in the Educator Academy program through the Career and Technical Education. She'll be attending Grand Valley State University to pursue a degree in elementary education. Congratulations, Erin. Chastity is currently attending Grand Valley State University, earning a spot on the Dean's List for both semesters with a 3.8 GPA. Chastity plans to continue her studies at Michigan Technological University, where she'll earn her Bachelor of Science in Forestry with a minor in Ecology. Congratulations, Chastity. Mabry Manus and his son Michael, longtime residents of Mount Pleasant, were alike in their intellectual curiosity, thoughtfulness, and integrity. Independent thinkers both valued education and believed that everyone deserves a chance to succeed. The Manus Family Scholarship is awarded to graduating seniors from Mount Pleasant who have demonstrated perseverance and courage in overcoming obstacles. This year's seniors are Connor Auker and Grace McIntosh. Connor is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and has been actively involved in the performing arts. He's been a member of the jazz, marching, pep band, winter percussion, and the musical. Connor is planning to attend Mid-Michigan College before transferring to Central Michigan University to study pre-law. Congratulations, Connor. Grace is graduating from Mount Pleasant High School, where she's involved in the National Honor Society, the National Technical Honor Society, and she served as treasurer for two years for the Business Professionals of America. Grace plans on attending George Washington University to major in business with a concentration in hospitality and real estate. Congratulations, Grace. Hi, my name is Grace McIntosh and I was awarded the Manus Family Scholarship. I will be attending the George Washington University in Washington, D.C., where I'm going to be studying business with a concentration in hospitality and a minor in sustainability. I'm super excited to get involved in political activism while in D.C. and also study abroad during my college experience. I'd like to thank all the friends, family, and teachers that have supported me through my high school journey and to the Mount Pleasant Community Foundation for the scholarship. Thank you. The Martin Family Scholarship awards scholarships to graduating seniors from Isabella County who seek educational opportunities beyond high school. The Martins believe that it's an obligation to support their community and that the education and training of our youth is critically important to the long-term growth of our communities and businesses. This year's recipients are Leslie Arma and Samantha McDonald. Leslie is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and has demonstrated academic rigor as one of three valedictorians. He's involved in Cross Country, Model UN, and Quiz Bowl, where he acted as co-captain. Leslie plans on attending Case Western Reserve University in preparation to become a doctor. Congratulations, Leslie. Sammy is graduating from Sacred Heart Academy, where she was involved in sports, the National Honor Society, the Committee for Miles for Miracles, Key Club, and Student Senate as the president of her class. She also served as president of the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation's Youth Advisory Committee. Sammy plans to attend Central Michigan University to earn a degree in elementary education. Congratulations, Sammy. I just want to thank everyone involved in, with the Modern Family Scholarship Fund for picking me to receive the Modern Family Scholarship. I am very excited to attend Case Western Reserve University and start studying to become a doctor. I'm also really grateful for everyone who's helped me get to where I am today. Once again, thank you for this great opportunity. It means a lot to me. The James D. and Karen A. McConnell Family Scholarship Fund was established by Jim and Karen McConnell to help support students who plan to pursue a career in agriculture. The scholarship aims to reward students from Clare, Gratiot, or Isabella County who have a passion for agriculture and are attending a college in the state of Michigan to pursue a career in the agriculture field. This year's recipient is Morgan Philhart. Morgan is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and has been involved in the National Honor Society, Key Club, and 4-H. She was a member of the softball and golf teams and has been dual enrolled for three years. Morgan will be attending Michigan State University where she'll be studying animal science. Congratulations, Morgan. The McGurk Ganyard Westside School Scholarship was established by Jim McGurk, who is passionate about Ganyard Elementary School and the students who attended. This scholarship is awarded to Mount Pleasant High School seniors who attended Ganyard Elementary in their youth. This year's recipients are JC Maxson and Olivia Parks. 
JC is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and has proved to be a hardworking student athlete, receiving the Scholar Athlete and the All Academic Awards. JC plans to attend Mid Michigan College to pursue a career in the health science field. Congratulations, JC. Olivia is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School, where she maintained honor roll status and received the Maroon and Gold Merit Scholarship from Central Michigan University. She plans to attend CMU before transferring to Michigan State University in 2021 to pursue a career in behavior science. Congratulations, Olivia. Hi, I just wanted to say I'm very appreciative and thankful that I was chosen as a recipient for the Westside Ganyard Scholarship. I plan to use a scholarship at Central Michigan University this year, and I plan to transfer to Michigan State University in the following fall. Thanks to you guys, I am one step closer to my goal, and you've lightened the financial burden that college can make. Um, one day, I hope I can help kids like you guys help me. So thanks again, and I can't wait to see where my future takes me. The Mercantile Bank of Michigan Scholarship is awarded to graduating seniors from Claire Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart or Shepherd High School who are committed to community service. This year's recipients are Joshua Camp, Aiden Judge, Madison McBride, and Zach Moog. Joshua is a graduating senior from Claire High School and is president of the Lloyd E. Conley National Honor Society chapter. Joshua is planning to attend Hillsdale Private College to major in political economics and minor in finance. Congratulations, Joshua. Aiden is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and is class salutatorian. He's a member of the National Honor Society, the marching band, and a regular on the dramatic stage. Aiden is attending the Pablis Honors College at Michigan Technological University and majoring in environmental engineering. Congratulations, Aiden. Madison McBride is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a four-year varsity athlete in both cross country and soccer. She was involved in the Student Senate 4-H and is a member of the National Technical Honor Society. She'll be attending Saginaw Valley State University to study elementary education. Congratulations, Madison. Zach is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a scholar athlete. He participated in the National Honor Society and was awarded first team all conference for football. He's an active member of 4-H and served as vice president of his club. He'll be attending Grand Valley State University to study engineering. Congratulations, Zach. The Scotty Miller Memorial Special Education Scholarship was established in memory of Scotty Miller, who loved making people laugh and had a carefree disposition. The Miller family would like to honor Scotty by helping students who wish to pursue a special education career to achieve their dreams. The first ever recipient for the Scotty Miller Memorial Special Education Scholarship is Riley Hines. Riley is graduating from Bill City High School and participated in sideline and competitive cheer. She took a graphic design course at the Gratiot Isabella Technical Education Center and has been dual enrolled through Mid-Michigan College for two years. Riley will be attending Central Michigan University, major undecided. Congratulations, Riley. The Gary Moe Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Gary Moe, who believed that learning opportunities enhance employee skills and improve job performance. Gary's family shares his strong beliefs about education, even in a non-traditional capacity. This year's scholarship is awarded to Taylor Ellison. Taylor will be a sophomore at Elma College, where she's pursuing a degree in psychology. She currently works in the Child Care Center at the West Midland Family Center and plans to earn her master's degree and work as a mental health therapist. Congratulations, Taylor. The Paul Muggenberg Family Youth Agricultural Scholarship was established by Paul's family to honor him and to carry on his wonderful legacy of giving back to the community through farming. This year's recipient is Drew Nyer. Drew is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy who has served as class president and helps with the school's fundraisers. He served as treasurer of the Future Farmers of America chapter and president of his 4-H club. Drew plans to study agribusiness management at Michigan State University. Congratulations, Drew. The Michael and Diane Mori Manufacturing Skills Trade Scholarship was established by Michael and Diane Mori to provide support to Isabella County students who are pursuing higher education with plans of having a career in manufacturing. This year's recipient is Joseph Higby. Joseph is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School 
and was the student manager for the hockey team throughout high school. He'll be attending Ohio Technical College to work towards a welding certification. Congratulations, Joseph. The Norval Mori Leadership Scholarship was created to remember and honor a man who inspired so many people during his lifetime. People who knew Norval Nub Mori describe him as a true visionary, an entrepreneurial genius, a philanthropic benefactor, and an overall amazing person. Of noble character and innovative spirit, Norval succeeded professionally, but he also impacted and inspired those around him. A leader and an innovator, Norval never allowed anything to slow him down, and he did everything from his heart, whether it made headlines or not. This scholarship is for graduating seniors from Isabella County who displayed the same leadership characteristics Norval exhibited during his lifetime. This year's recipient of the Norval Mori Leadership Scholarship is Bridget Boyle. Bridget is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and was a member of the cross country and soccer teams. She participated in the National Honor Society and served as student body president for the Student Senate. Bridget plans to attend Saginaw Valley State University to study nursing and pursue a career as a nurse practitioner. Congratulations, Bridget. Hi, my name is Bridget Boyle, and I just want to say a special thank you to the Mori family for choosing me to be the recipient of the Norval Mori Leadership Scholarship. Um, next year, I will be attending Saginaw Valley State University to study nursing. I am very, very excited to become a nurse one day, and I'd just like to say thank you again for giving me this money to help me get through nursing school and all the school that I do at SVSU. Thank you. The Mount Pleasant High School Class of 1959 Legacy Scholarship was created by classmates after their 50th reunion. The reunion planning committee established the scholarship to make a permanent impact on the Mount Pleasant community and on Mount Pleasant High School. This year's recipients are Noah Graham, Dimitri Griffin, and Mackenzie Pirtle. Noah is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a member of the National Technical Honor Society. Noah plans to attend Delta College to pursue a career in manufacturing. Congratulations, Noah. Dimitri is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School, maintaining a GPA average of 3.78 while displaying athletic prowess in basketball, football, and track. Dimitri will attend Mid-Michigan College to pursue a career in the electrical field. Congratulations, Dimitri. Mackenzie is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is involved in local nonprofit organizations such as Pheasants Forever and 4-H, where she holds officer positions. Mackenzie plans to study cardiac nursing at Central Michigan University. Congratulations, Mackenzie. In 1990, while planning their 25th year class reunion, the Mount Pleasant High School class of 1965 decided to fund a scholarship program to assist students with furthering their education. This fund will continue to award scholarships to graduates of Mount Pleasant High School as the legacy of the class of 1965. The recipient of this year's scholarship is Madison Auker. Madison is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School, where she was a member of the soccer team, 4-H, Business Professionals of America, the National Honor Society, and the National Technical Honor Society. Madison plans to attend Central Michigan University on a pre-physician assistant track with a major in kinesiology and minor in Spanish and psychology. Congratulations, Madison. Robert F. Murray was an accountant and staunch supporter of education. His son, Paul, established the Robert F. Murray & Company CPA Scholarship to encourage young people who are interested in entering the field of accounting. This year's scholarship recipient is Brianna Bixby. Brianna is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School, where she was involved in tennis, 4-H, and the National Technical Honor Society. She plans to attend Michigan State University to study accounting and finance. Congratulations, Brianna. The Myler Family Scholarship was established to honor Bill and Dolores Myler. This fund provides scholarships to graduates of Sacred Heart Academy in honor of the Mylers' commitment to the Catholic faith, to Catholic education, and to the Mount Pleasant community. The recipient for this year's scholarship is Joshua Lynch. Josh is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy, where he's a member of the National Honor Society and is a scholar athlete in track and cross country. He'll be attending Michigan Technological University, where he'll be a member of the cross country team while studying chemical engineering and geochemistry. Congratulations, Josh. The Jason Parrott Scholarship awards a scholarship to a student who may have specific or special need. The scholarship may be used to acquire materials or equipment that helps the student to pursue higher education. 
This year's recipient is Beth House. Beth is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School, where she's been involved in the Lynx program, the Student Improvement Team, and the Health Science Careers Club in the Gratiot Isabella Technical Education Center. She plans to attend Mid-Michigan College to study in the Pharmacy Technician Program. Congratulations, Beth. For Leonard and Luis Placta, education was of the highest importance. In 1992, when Leonard became interim president of CMU, he asked Luis to guide non-traditional students. They believed all students deserved access to education and worked to provide a well-rounded experience for CMU students. The Plactas were awarded with one of the highest non-academic honors offered by CMU, the Distinguished Leader in Service Award. Their love for Isabella County helped make it a better place and the lasting efforts are seen to this day. This year's recipient of the Leonard E. and Louise A. Plakta Scholarship is Janessa Johnson. Janessa is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a four-year honor student. She's involved in Business Professionals of America and the National Technical Honor Society. Janessa plans to attend Grand Valley State University to study marketing. Congratulations, Janessa. Jeffrey B. Reedy was a dedicated husband, father, and friend who passed away as the result of a snowmobile accident. Jeff's family established the Jeff Reedy Memorial Scholarship to honor him for all his hard work and success in his nearly 50 years of life in this world. This scholarship recognizes an Isabella County graduating senior planning a career in the field of business. This year's recipient is Hayden Salter. Hayden is a graduating senior from Bill City High School and is involved in many extracurriculars involving varsity football and track, robotics, business professionals of America, and the youth and government program. Hayden will be attending Michigan State University, where he plans to major in political science pre-law and minor in sports management. Congratulations, Hayden. The Mount Pleasant Rotary Club Scholarship was established in memory of distinguished past members. Rotary recognizes graduating seniors who have demonstrated academic ability, as well as a willingness to serve others. This year's recipients are Nicholas Cataldo, Abid Israr, and Austin Lapsinger. Nicholas is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy, where he participated in baseball, basketball, robotics, and football, where he received the McNatesel Award. Nicholas plans to attend Mid-Michigan College to pursue a career in the field of speech pathology. Congratulations, Nicholas. Abid is graduating from Mount Pleasant High School, where he was on the junior varsity and varsity soccer and track teams. He was a volunteer referee and assistant coach for the City Youth Soccer Program and volunteered at the football and basketball games. Abid will attend Mid-Michigan College and plans to study engineering. Congratulations, Abid! Austin is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and was the team captain of the basketball, golf, and football teams. He was involved in 4-H and the National Technical Honor Society while taking electronics classes at the Gratiot Isabella Technical Education Center. Austin plans to attend Central Michigan University to study computer science. Congratulations, Austin. The George and Francis P. Roman Mental Health Education Scholarship is awarded to a student pursuing a career in the mental health field. To honor George upon his retirement, his friends and colleagues created the George and Francis P. Roman Mental Health Education Scholarship Fund. This year's recipient is Clarissa Klein. Clarissa is attending Central Michigan University, studying social work and Spanish. She's a member of the Phi Alpha Honor Society and the Student Social Work Association. Clarissa plans to attend law school or pursue a master's degree in social work. Congratulations, Clarissa. The Kenneth and Hilda Schmeck Memorial Nursing Scholarship was established to recognize and reward a student at Mid-Michigan College who's been admitted into the nursing program. Hilda was a registered nurse and Ken retired from the Dow Chemical Company as a lab technician. This year's recipient is Haley Helt. Haley is studying the nursing program at Mid-Michigan College and will be graduating in December. She's involved in MMC's Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and enjoys volunteering at the Isabella Community Soup Kitchen. Haley works as a certified nursing assistant at Stratford Pines Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. Congratulations, Haley. The Matthew S. Shar Memorial Scholarship was created by Matt's friends to memorialize his unfailing positive attitude and energy, especially as he battled cancer in the last years of his life. This scholarship will help further educate a Beale City High School graduating senior. The recipient of this year's scholarship is Olivia Nelson. Olivia is a graduating senior from Beale City High School and is involved in multiple sports. She 
she's a member of the National Honor Society, the Spanish Honor Society, and Future Health Students of Michigan. Olivia plans to attend Mid-Michigan College to play basketball, then transfer to Central Michigan University. Congratulations, Olivia. The Shepherd Football Scholarship was established by Shepherd Youth Football to provide scholarships to Shepherd High School graduates who've participated in high school football. The organization promotes youth football in Shepherd, Michigan to further the development of leadership, character, sportsmanship, tolerance, discipline, and athletic ability. This was the first year that the Shepherd Football Scholarship is awarding. This year's recipient is Sawyer Travis. Sawyer is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and is a member of the football, basketball, and track and field teams. He's been involved in Student Council, Business Professionals of America, Science Club, and served as co-president of the Interact Club. Sawyer plans on attending Grand Valley State University to study finance. Congratulations, Sawyer. I just want to thank the representatives of the Shepherd Football Scholarship. I really appreciate being selected as the recipient of the scholarship and the money will be going towards tuition costs to attend Grand Valley State University in the fall of 2020. I also would like to thank my friends and family who have created some great memories over the years playing football um, for Shepherd for the last seven years. Um, my family for always pushing me to be a great person um, on and off the football field. I also want to thank all my coaches um, from the youth on up to varsity football. Um, they really had a lasting impact on me to this day. The Shepherd Public School Scholarship supports students of Shepherd High School and Odyssey High School who are active volunteers and exhibit an outstanding attitude toward the school and community. The scholarships are awarded to graduating seniors to help them attend a college, university, technical, or vocational school. This year's recipients are James Bagard, Shelby Gallen, and Melissa Santour. James is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and was a member of the cheer, cross country, track, and powerlifting teams. He was a member of Business Professionals of America and the Rotary Interact Club. James will be attending Saginaw Valley State University and plans to become an elementary teacher. Congratulations, James. Shelby is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School. She's been a member of the varsity pom-pom team, drama club, language arts team, student improvement team, German exchange program, Special Olympics, and the National Honor Society. Shelby plans to attend Michigan State University to study pre-law. Congratulations, Shelby. Melissa is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School. She's been a member of the National Technical Honor Society, Student Council, and participated in the Dow College Opportunity Program and the Lynx Program. Melissa plans to attend Northern Michigan University, where she'll be studying digital media. Congratulations, Melissa. The Arnold and Margaret Saumick Memorial Scholarship was established to benefit the education and development of Native American youth and other youth of the community who emulate the leadership skills of Arnold and Margaret Saumick. This year's recipient is Quinlan Berger. Quinlan is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and has been involved in gymnastics since she was seven years old. She's a five-time state and regional qualifier, a track scholar athlete, and a member of the National Honor Society. Quinlan has received her certified nurse aid license and plans to attend Winona State University to pursue a career in the medical field. Congratulations, Quinlan. Jeff Spencer worked on the farm with his dad, Roy, until he was involved in a very serious motor vehicle accident in 1980. Jeff established the Jeff and Roy Spencer Scholarship so that students could further their education and gain the skills to help people like Jeff lead healthy and happy lives. The scholarship provides support to Isabella County High School graduates planning a career in the fields of agricultural, occupational, or physical therapy. This scholarship is intended to help people so they will in turn help others. This year's recipient is Mason Weber. Mason is a graduating senior from Shepherd High School and a member of the baseball team all four years. He's an avid volunteer and participated in the Shepherd Maple Syrup Festival, community cleanup, and the Shepherd Youth Football Program. Mason plans to attend Mid-Michigan College before transferring to Central Michigan University to study physical therapy. Congratulations, Mason. The Nolan D. Stilgenbauer Agricultural Scholarship is awarded to graduates of Shepherd High School who are actively involved in at least one youth organization and intend to pursue a career in agriculture. This year's recipient is Dylan Arnett. Dylan is attending Michigan State University 
and has served on the Isabella County Livestock Producers Rules Committee for the past six years. He plans to graduate in the spring with a degree in crop and soil science and a minor in agribusiness. Congratulations, Dylan. The Stokes Elementary Education Scholarship was established by Richard Stokes in memory of his wife, Margaret. Margaret and Richard met at Indiana Wesleyan University, where she was studying to be a teacher. Margaret spent much of her 35 years teaching in Mount Pleasant Public Schools. Following Margaret's passing in 2016, her husband made the decision to create a fund to memorialize her love of teaching and to honor the profession that she and Richard loved. Margaret's passion for teaching will be remembered by hundreds of her students and her legacy will live on throughout this scholarship. The Stokes Elementary Education Scholarship is awarded to Stephen Davidson. Stephen is a graduating senior from Mount Pleasant High School and is a member of the National Technical Honor Society and the varsity wrestling and football teams. He plans to participate on the wrestling team at Elma College while pursuing a degree in education. Congratulations, Stephen. The Super Car Guy Scholarship awards scholarships to students in the auto technology program at the Mount Pleasant Area Technical Center who seek to continue their education beyond high school in this vocation. This year's recipient is Christopher House. Chris is attending the University of Northwestern Ohio, where he's dual majoring in automotive and diesel technology. While in high school, he participated in the auto vocational program at the Gratiot Isabella Technical Education Center, where he became interested in automotive and diesel technology. Chris hopes to own his own vehicle repair business someday. Congratulations, Chris. The Harry E. Tope Memorial Aviation Scholarship was established to honor the memory of Harry E. Tope Jr. and his passion for flying. This scholarship is intended to provide financial assistance to deserving individuals who wish to pursue a career or hobby in aviation and to promote continued interest in education for private pilots. This year's recipient is Matthew Shimshak. Matthew is a graduating senior from Sacred Heart Academy and has been involved in many community volunteer projects, such as Operation Good Cheer and Michigan Special Olympics. He'll be attending Western Michigan University, where he'll be studying aviation and pursuing his dream of becoming a professional pilot. Congratulations, Matthew. The Jeffrey Vernon Memorial Scholarship was established by his parents, Raymond and Hildy Vernon of Mount Pleasant, to honor the life and career choice of their son and to carry on his memory. The recipient for this year's scholarship is Alicia Wilson. Alicia is a graduating senior from Beale City High School, where she participated in sideline cheer, competitive cheer, track, and softball. She's the vice president of the National Honor Society, a member of the Spanish Honor Society, and the National Technical Honor Society. Alicia plans to attend Central Michigan University to study health professions. Congratulations, Alicia. I just wanted to take a second and say thank you to the family of Jeffrey Vernon for making this scholarship possible. I'm this year's valedictorian at Beale City High School and I'm involved in various clubs and sports there. I'm attending CMU next fall and I plan on living in the dorms, which is pretty expensive, so this extra money will really be helpful. Again, I just wanted to say thank you for making this scholarship possible. The Watson Family Scholarship was established by Elaine Watson to support Isabella County students pursuing higher education. The scholarship aims to reward students who are pursuing a career in education, medicine, or skilled trades after high school. This year's recipient is Micaiah Robinson. Micaiah is a senior graduating from Mount Pleasant High School and was captain of both the cross country and track teams. She'll be attending Mid-Michigan College to study radiology. Congratulations, Micaiah. Thank you, Joe and Angie from WCFX. We loved hearing about all our different scholarship funds and congratulations again to the scholarship recipients. Some of you have waited patiently throughout our program and you've not been recognized. You perhaps are those that we should be recognizing the most. Parents and family members, teachers, counselors, school staff, and mentors of scholarship recipients. You have encouraged these students and will continue to support their pursuit of education. We cannot thank you enough. Thank you to our Community Foundation staff, Nancy, Jamie, and Liz, who supported our awesome scholarship committee and our awesome community relations committee as we prepared for this celebration. We are only able to make impact like this in our community today because of generous donors who had the foresight to start endowment funds that would live on in perpetuity. 
Every year, we welcome new fund representatives taking the place of parents or grandparents, but the endowment funds, they don't change. Sometimes leadership is planting trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit. The Community Foundation has led our community in establishing endowment funds that are permanent and will do good in our community, Isabella County, forever. At the Community Foundation, we seek to shape the future of Isabella County by helping people find and fund the causes they love and by cultivating bold solutions for a strong, vibrant, and inclusive community. If this has been your first experience with the Community Foundation, I encourage you to learn more. During this virtual celebration, you've heard about scholarships from more than 70 different scholarship funds. But did you know that the Mount Pleasant Area Community Foundation hosts 227 other endowments? We invite you to keep in touch with us to hear about the wonderful things happening with your Community Foundation, the programs and projects that we support through these endowments. Thank you for being with us. Stay healthy, stay safe.